Number 16. Suppose you were presented with a clear solution of sodium thiosulfate, which is Na2S2O3. How could you determine whether the solution is unsaturated, saturated, or supersaturated? Okay, so we have three levels of saturation in a solution. So unsaturated, saturated, and supersaturated. So let's just, I guess we'll categorize them here. So we have unsaturated, saturated, and supersaturated. Okay. Now, a great example of this is saturated. Okay. So the great example of this is let's pretend that we're drinking either a hot cup of tea or coffee. I like both. Depends on the day, right? Majoritively, it's going to be coffee, though. <laughs> but if I was overseas, it would be a cup of tea. But anyway, um, so let's pretend that we have coffee, right? And the coffee is going to be blue. <laughs> but uh, let's just say that we love sugar in our coffee, right? And we drop a couple of sugars, right, into our cup right? And we swirl it around. And what happens to the sugar? If we just add a little bit? Yeah, it, it will dissolve and you can't see the sugar anymore. But let's just say that I'm, I'm sugar happy that day and I dump a whole bunch of sugar into this cup of coffee. What's going to happen to the sugar? If I mix and I mix and I mix, chances are some of them isn't going to dissolve, right? You're still going to have some chunks um, on the bottom of sugar, and if you pick up your spoon when you're, um, you know, swirling it around, chances are you're going to see some sugar on that spoon. So you would be able to see the difference between the coffee and the sugar. That is classified as a super saturated solution. A super saturated solution is when you start seeing something called a precipitate. So a precipitate is in the solution, and a, um, a precipitate is just a fancy word for saying a solid. So if you basically are adding so much of your solid that m um, you know most of it isn't dissolving and some of it is left over, that's your precipitate. A precipitate is just a solid. So anytime that you are in a supersaturated solution, it means that you have way too much solute in your solvent, and the whole solution is the supersaturated solution. Keep in mind that when we did this example, uh, we added the sugar, right? And we added the sugar, that's the solute. The solute is always the one that goes into the liquid container or the liquid substance. Um, so in this case, the sugar, uh, sorry, the coffee is going to be the solvent. And the addition of the solute and the solvent makes up the entire solution. And that's what's called either unsaturated, saturated, or supersaturated. Okay. Now, in this case, they did say that we are presented with a clear solution, right? A clear solution means that everything is one uniform color. It's all clear, right? So we're going to assume that there is no dots in the solution, right? There's no solids that are in the solution that would be different from the clearness. Um, there's no white precipitate. So right off the bat, if you're just, you know, shown a clear solution, there's not going to be any solids. And if there's no solids, we can automatically state that that solution is not supersaturated. The supersaturation has to have some type of precipitate in it. Since they said that it was clear, I'm going to assume that it's, you know, just you could see right through it. Nothing is different in that solution and it's not supersaturated. But now comes the idea of, well, how can I determine whether it's unsaturated or saturated? Both of these will not have a precipitate um, by looking at them. They will both be the clear solution because the supersaturated one has to have the precipitate, has to have the solid. But when we talk about, um, maybe I'll bring this all the way down. 
when we talk about being saturated, this is the absolute limit. So the absolute limit of having the max amount of solute in your solvent without dissolving, sorry, without forming a precipitate. So this is where you would have your max amount of solute in the solvent and no precipitate forms. So no solid forms. If you are unsaturated, that means that you're just at some certain amount, but you are not at your max amount. So you can totally add more solute to the solvent and um, it would still dissolve. So basically to identify whether this would be an unsaturated or a saturated solution is to see if we're at our absolute limit. What we can do is we can just add a tiny bit so we had a tiny amount of the Na2S2O3, right? Just add a tiny bit more. If this was a saturated solution, that means that that tiny bit, mm -mm, you already had your max amount. That tiny amount is going to form a precipitate and you will now be in a super saturated solution. So a precipitate will form. But if this was an unsaturated solution and you added that tiny itty bitty, you know, maybe I'll say plus, just to make it clear, plus Na2S2O3. I'm going to plus a little bit more Na2S2O3. If you had an unsaturated solution and you added a little bit more, technically, it could still dissolve, right? You're not at your max limit. So no precipitate will form. And that's the difference how we can determine whether the solution was unsaturated, saturated, or super saturated. Super saturated. Since they said it was clear, it is totally not a super saturated solution because we need to see some some sort of solid in there already. Um, and then uh, with saturated and unsaturated, you just add a little bit more depending on if you did see a precipitate or if you didn't see a precipitate, you can determine whether you were saturated to the max or unsaturated. And I hope this helped. So everything that basically we said here was the answer, you know, so make sure to just write down the uh, definitions of the three different solutions, uh, saturated, unsaturated, and supersaturated, and just talking about the, you know, the small addition of the sodium thiosulfate. And that's it. Okay, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, I love helping you guys out every step of the way. Uh, you're going to do great on your tests and quizzes, okay? So stick with the videos. I'm here every step of the way. And I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, bye-bye.